Well, I guess all of my hair is gone now. Goodbye hair. Bye. Hey guys, Jimmy from Which Way here. Welcome back to another reaction. Today we are reacting to the PS5 Unreal Engine 5 R tech demo. So without further ado, let's get straight into this bad boy, shall we? Hello, I'm Brian Karras, Technical Director of Graphics here at Epic Games. Hi. Hi, I'm Jerome Plateau, Art Director of the Special Project. A few years ago, we got together as a team and brainstormed where we thought we could push forward the state of the art in real time graphics. There were two key areas that stood out. The first, dynamic global illumination. Beautiful bounce lighting instantaneously. I don't have to be constrained to do a game where the world has to be static. And I'm able to iterate a lot faster. And we call this new system Lumen. And we're about to show you what Lumen. it is capable of. But okay. first, there was another area that we thought we could push forward truly virtualized geometry. The artist wouldn't have to be concerned over poly counts, draw calls, or memory. You could directly use film quality assets and bring them <clears> straight <throat> into the engine. And that's a big deal for artists. I just want to be able to import my ZBrush model, my photogrammetry scan, my CAD data, without wasting any time optimizing, creating LODs, or even lowering the quality to make it hit frame rate. In the end, that's what it's all about. Art that just works. And we call this new technology Nanite. Here is the future of Unreal Engine running live on a PlayStation 5. Awesome. Let's take a look at it. All right, let's see it. This has to be the right way. So I've seen the woman in the thumbnail everywhere. Is this a new game that's coming out or is it just a demonstration? Purely a demonstration. Before we continue, let's stop a moment and take a look at some of the key features of this demo. Much of what you see was built with Quixel Megascan assets, but instead of using the game versions, we used the cinematic versions which would typically only be used in film. Wow. There are around a million triangles each, and thanks to virtual texturing, they all use 8K textures as well. Nanite can render an insane number of triangles very quickly. There are over a billion triangles of source geometry. Gotta love them triangles. Frame that Nanite crunches down losslessly to around 20 million drawn triangles. What does that many triangles look like? This isn't noise. These Whoa. are the triangles, each a different color. Most are so small that they look like noise. Nanite achieves detail down to the pixel, which means triangles are often the size of pixels. This amount of geometric detail requires shadows to be pixel accurate as well, and Nanite can do that too. Speaking of lighting, all of the lighting in this demo is completely dynamic, with the power of Lumen that even includes multi-bounce global illumination. No light maps, no baking here. Without GI, all of that beautiful lighting is gone. Huh. With Lumen enabled, we can move the light and the bounce changes instantly. Cool. Okay, let's keep going. Shall we? We've made some great additions to our audio system as well. Convolution Reverb allows us to measure reverberation characteristics of real spaces, like actual caves that we sampled, and reproduce them in virtual spaces. Okay. Sound field rendering allows us to record and playback spatialized audio. Very cool. All Sounded of this amazing. Adds up to a more immersive experience. Wait, what's my uh what's my thing on? It's on 720. It looks amazing even in 720. This swarm of bats was created with our Niagara effects system. Niagara. Particles in Niagara can now talk to one another and understand their environment like never before. I'm a sucker for those rocks and those cliffs. We've also added a ton of new functionality to run rocks. fluid simulations like you see in the water below. Ooh. I'm a sucker. Uh, I'm also a sucker for good ripple effects. Someone, I didn't, I don't mean to pause it, but someone in the comments, I'm pretty sure, said this is a cross between uh, Zero Horizon Dawn, Uncharted, and yeah, I can see it now. <laughs> this absolutely should be a game. A launch title, in fact. Absolutely. <sighs> Oh, and Tomb Raider, of course. I forgot to mention that as well. 
Got to add that in the mix as well. Now that the environment is so complex, we've needed to greatly improve our animation systems to adapt. We've added predictive foot placement and motion warping, which dynamically modifies IK and body position to look more natural. For the character to more realistically interact with the environment, we've added the ability to trigger seamless contextual animation events, like her hand on the door. Sounds promising. Okay, nice. Dynamic GI is amazing, not just for speeding up iteration, but also for its impact on gameplay. Nice Any light touch. source can move while Get still having feet. beautiful bounce lighting. Dynamic illumination means specular as well, which you can see on all the metal surfaces. You can even see the Niagara-powered bugs reacting to the light. Lumen not only reacts to moving light sources, but also changes in geometry. No need for a torch now. Remember we mentioned high poly assets? This statue was imported directly from ZBrush and is more than 33 million triangles. Please no come alive. Normal maps, no authored LODs. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Would be a nice looking boss or boss or enemy. And we can do more than a single statue. There are nearly 500 of that exact statue at the same detail level placed in this room oh. for a total of over 16 billion triangles from statues alone. This video should be called over Unreal Engine demo, 5 Triangle Demo. Of billions of triangles. I'm going to put a triangle count just in the corner. Let's see how many times he says it. So with Nana, you have limitless geometry. And with Lumen, you have fully dynamic lighting and global illumination. Oh, wow. All running on a PlayStation 5. Okay. Might be a bit of a win for Sony, or just for play that, uh, yeah, I can talk. Might be a bit of a win for PlayStation. Looks great. Looks incredible. There's not much time left. And this doesn't need to be constrained to small rooms. It can stretch all the way to the horizon. Ah, this is what I wanted to see. Outer Water. environments. Okay. Okay. Assassin's Creed, this bitch. Oh, what the hell? Oh, wow. What? What is going on? Wow. I got a lot of game uh, influences just then that came to my mind. The running, the jumping, the effects. to see what's next. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Don't. That didn't feel like nine minutes. Are you serious? I, uh, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you like what you saw. And I will see you for the next video I make. Peace.